What is a dehydration reaction? First, let's analyze the word. You'll notice that it has a suffix that says hydra. So we know it has something to do with water. And then there's a prefix of D. So it's kind of like water removal. But most people know what dehydration means. But basically, in chemistry, it's a reaction where two molecules condense together and then water is formed as a byproduct. Okay, so I'm just going to give an example. using some amino acids. So all amino acids contain an amine group attached to a carbon that has a side group that makes it unique. And then it also has a carboxylic acid functionality as well. So this is an example of one amino acid and then on the right, I'm going to draw a second one. So it's going to have the same... Let me draw it like this. It's going to have the same structure with a carboxylic acid group and an amine, but the only thing that sets them apart is that they have different R groups. So let me just also put my hydrogen. And then I'm going to note this R group as R prime. Okay, so now in a dehydration reaction, I'm just going to circle where our molecules come together and water can be formed as a byproduct. So now our final product looks like this. Oh, sorry. Oxygen is now gone. So this is how biochemists would combine two amino acids together. And of course, I'm also going to write down our byproduct, which is the water molecule. Okay, so let's see what our junior tutor said. A dehydration reaction is a conversion reaction that involved the loss of water from the reacting molecule or ion. This reaction is between two compounds, and it always has water as one of its products. A dehydration reaction is the same as a dehydration synthesis. A dehydration reaction may also be known as a condensation reaction. But more properly, a dehydration reaction is a specific type of condensation reaction. Chemicals commonly used as dehydrating agents include concentrated phosphoric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, hot ceramic, and also hot aluminum oxide. When dehydrating alcohol, the alcohols typically undergo a 1-2 re-elimination reaction to generate an alkene and water. 
I think they just mean elimination reaction. Nonetheless, this solution is still correct. Okay, so now let's move on to question number seven. 